my name is Doug Nine. I'm from Night Easy Dock. We're here to simulate uh, an installation and assembly of a floating uh, barge that uh, you'd be able to move your four-wheeler and different things to hunting camp or uh, even if you just wanted a remote float for fishing or or taking uh, other chunks of stuff to your remote cabin or different things like that. All right, we're going through the parts here today uh, for our uh, floating barge that we're going to put our four-wheeler on. So basically, we've got about four or five different parts here. Uh, let's see, we've got the hardware, or excuse me, the regular couplers, and these are what couple the docks together. Basically, there's one on the top and one on the bottom. Uh, they're equipped with a uh, nut on the top that uh, clamps them together, but also requires a security coupler. We'll uh, use a, just a battery-powered drill, and then we have a security coupler there, and basically that just goes on and tightens those uh, coupler bolts up. But uh, normally it'd look like this if you didn't have that particular individual tool that's on this battery drill. Uh, next thing we got is we got our cleats. These just basically go into the cleat holes that's up on top the dock. Uh, they got a, a stainless steel uh, bolt that goes in the top. Uh, it's tightened up with, a, uh, with an Allen wrench, 3 16 uh, With these particular bolts, we got to use their stainless steel, so we got to use a food grade and ICs. I stress the food grade because uh, lead, uh, we don't want lead in our waters. Uh, let's see, we got the hardware couplers, and basically this is how we install uh, our different chunks of uh, uh, pieces of stuff like ladders and different things like that, or uh, our motor bracket that you're going to see here today. Uh, the rest of the parts are we got. Um, we got a ins water install tool and it basically looks like this and this is how we install the couplers in the water underneath the dock so we don't have to crawl on top the uh, underneath the dock or swim underneath the dock to push those up so basically we'll install that from the top and we'll slide this in between the two dock sections uh, let's see we got our uh, our socket here I think I talked about that general hammer to uh, pound the couplers down so they're so they fit tighter on top of the dock um, let's see we've got a general pry bar right there a lot of times you need to move it around because some of the stuff doesn't totally line up each dock is a little bit different in dimension uh, general toolkit uh, you know that's just generally uh, the stuff that uh, any guys kind of got uh, we need a couple we need two ropes basically to hold on to the uh, pieces of dock so they don't float away today in the wind they've got kind of a breeze going and we got our friendly uh, man's best friend here the old dog here to help us out today all right, we're going through the installation of a cleat on an easy dock. On all easy docks, we got the stainless steel inserts that you'd see in this. Actually, about six points, seven points on each dock. Uh, stainless steel bolts, uh, they got to have an uh, anti-seize that's installed on them. You just put a glob on there. That keeps them from seizing up or, or the threads galling in the stainless steel inserts. We want to be sure and use food grade uh, anti-seize also so uh, we don't get lead and different things in the water and be uh, uh, environmental friendly on that. So basically you put the cleat over the two stainless steel inserts like that, put it in there and thread it in. And basically what we have is we have a 3 16 uh, Allen hit or Allen wrench that uh, go ahead, uh, that tightens it up. This one already has the NICs on it. Basically, just get them threaded. Halfway started like that. We go ahead and tighten them up. And uh, these particular uh, inserts that are in the Easy Dock, I've never ever seen one pull out in the days that we've been doing this, which is seven years. Really a good installation. There you go. Nice cleat. Uh, no rust good and tough. This is our bracket that we use to hold the ramp on that goes from the bank over to the easy dock. It installs pretty easily. It's got two hardware couplers that goes on, that go on each end. It's got the chunks of aluminum that actually protrude down into the couplers up on the top. So the ramp will actually hook to this face right here and hang off of that and this will install on out like that. It'll slide down into the couplers like you see right here. Give a little shove and it slides down in just like that. And then basically we got two the hardware couplers. The hardware couplers, you got to remember, they have a taper on them. So for the snug fit, so basically they go right up like this. So a lot of times you got to pound on a little bit, get it down there. You get it in, you can see the bolt pop through right there. Put a nut on there.
install the other one on the other end. Put the nut on. And tighten her up. Good thing about doing this stuff in, out of the water is you don't lose your tools by dropping them in the water and different things like that. All right, uh, I'm demonstrating uh, the installation of a boat motor bracket that would go on our easy dock that would push our push our boat around. So basically, uh, this is the bracket right here. Uh, this is where the motor actually goes. You can see it's built nice and tough, galvanized bolts. On the back side, you can see where the hardware couplers go in. So basically, we have these two. Uh, we'll put two hardware couplers on this particular uh, bracket right here. So uh, they got 13, 16 nuts on the back. Leave these loose so they flop around a little bit there. Here's another one here. So this is what the boat motor bracket will hang on when I'm trying to get the uh, hardware couplers on the bottom. So basically, you see how loose they are right there. And they pop up. They're also tapered. I didn't show you that. But these uh, couplers are tapered right here, so they wedge down into these pockets. So basically, you see where I kind of slide those up like that, do a little adjustment here. See how you want them kind of halfway down and flush right there as far as tight. Then we get these other ones. They basically come up from the bottom, slide up into those uh, coupler pockets, put a bolt on right there, or excuse me, a nut. Put another one in on this side. Tighten this one up. You want to leave them halfway loose if you can. So this one here. So we basically got the nuts put on those. Once we get it all arranged, look at it where it's nice and square, tight. Then we'll go ahead and tighten those up with the 13 16 ratchet. And that basically uh, concludes that installation pretty quick. So here we just launched these docks and pulled them together and there's kind of some tricks uh, when you're putting on these uh, couplers on the top, uh, one it's floating in the water. One thing I'm really trying to show you is this can be done without getting wet. So basically to keep these docks lined up first what we want to do is take a half coupler like this, put it in this first coupler hole and drive it in pretty good. Using a hammer just like that. Then what we do is if you got a 2x6 like this, you can put that over and if I stand on that side of the dock or this side of the dock, that makes the dock uneven like you'd see down there at the back right there. So if I walk out, if I step out there, stand on that particular coupler and use my in-water install tool that you see here, I'll take and saw this tool in between that dock right there and pull it up right here in the center and we'll put a coupler on it and then we know we got the dock captured and it's not going to float off or float downstream. So anyway, here we go. We'll see how this works. So basically I step on the coupler right there that's holding the dock together. Come over here and stand on this and this. So once I step over here, you see how the dock goes down. So what we'll do is we'll kind of slide this along and we'll get it over to about We want to probably come to about this center coupler right here that you see. You've got to be about half careful. So here you have this in water install tool. You got to make sure the coupler is seated right on the bottom. This coupler rod is straight with this top. This hole actually lets us pull that coupler rod, coupler rod up into the bottom, seating this coupler on the bottom, and we can put that pinch bar right in the center and pry that up. All right, as you can see, we went ahead and put the other five couplers in this dock. So they're installed and all tightened up. And I want to show you the last installation coupler just so you can kind of see the procedure. Notice that I, I'm still not wet. Uh, it took us about uh, five minutes to put these in. So basically, I showed you this once already, but we take and put this coupler uh, right in this in-water uh, in in install tool. So you can see how this uh, coupler fits on this ledge right here on the front and cams down underneath that. So basically you start about like that. When you put this in, 
you want to make sure that this rod lines up with this with this uh, blade right here and you can see you want to make sure it's in there good because if you drop one in the water then you got to get wet so basically you take that and you'll saw that underneath the dock just like this into this coupler hole once you get it in place and you feel like it's pretty good, make sure the dock is leveled. You can see how this one's higher. Push down on that. Give that a shove and pull it up. And that seated the rod right here so it comes up in this coupler hole. Basically take the coupler, put it over the top, hit it a couple times until it's flush. It's a chunk of rubber so it's a wedge fit just like those hardware couplers. Put the, put the nut in the top. Battery drill's got the security coupler on there, or nut, or key, I should say. Tighten that baby up. Then to get this uh, in-water install tool out, it takes a little bit of work. There you go. The couplers are in, the dock is safe to be on, and you can go ahead and position for the next thing, which is drive that bike on there, load up all your stuff, your buddies and your dog, and you're off to hunting camp. Alright, so we've completed the installation and assembly of our dock system here. Uh, we have our ramp, we've got the bike on here, make sure you secure that thing. Um, it's pretty much ready to go, we got a motor on the back and pretty much all of our supplies. Don't forget your life jacket and your friendly dog. And always remember that you can take and call your Easy Dock dealer in your local area. And he'll take and uh, get you set up with all the parts and uh, pretty much he'll even assemble it for you if you'd like. So. Don't forget that and have a great time and we're ready to set sail.